Hey everybody, it is Mary here and I am happy to be talking to you today about what it feels like when you're stuck. And so I've been working on this for a little while now because, you know, whenever I'm on a podcast, people always ask me, what would you tell our listeners who feel stuck? So I've actually created a work, work page, looks like this, five steps to get unstuck. And so I believe that that's going out in the next Fearless Ambition newsletter. So I think that um, the first thing that I want to talk about with being stuck is how, what are the, what are the things that it feels like to be stuck? So I think that the first thing is that um, if we have a goal and for whatever reason, we're just, we're finding that that goal should be obtainable, but we're not doing the things that would cause us to reach that goal. It might be that deep down inside, we really just don't feel like we're capable of meeting it. So we just, we have a belief that we're unable to achieve that goal. So I think that that really goes into our barrier beliefs and, you know, just whatever belief systems we may have. Another thing is having a fear of failure. So I know for me that many times a fear of failure could look like uh, maybe not worried about the failure itself, but worried about being embarrassed that, you know, perhaps I shared with someone that I had this goal and now I'm embarrassed or humiliated to look bad in front of someone or a group of people, maybe family and friends, and, you know, just have to tell them, hey, you know what, this thing that I thought was going to happen, it didn't, it didn't happen. Um, another thing is our perceived limitations. So whenever you want to reach a goal, but you're not um, finding yourself getting there, it could be that you have these perceived limitations about yourself. Like, who am I to get this thing done? Um, lastly, or one of, one of the last ones, and this one's a big one for me, is sometimes I want to achieve something, but I feel like I just don't know how. So if it's not something that I've done before, then I could really be feeling like, I just don't know how to do this. And I wish that someone would come along and take me by the hand and just tell me how to do it. And um, the last one is, I think that a lot of times we need to do some things, but we fail to make the time that we need to do those. So that's it for now. And um, I do have some steps written, five steps to get unstuck that talk about step one is having a vision. Step two is all about you. Step three is really going to be about your mission, defining your mission, your business, you know, what's, what's unique about that. Step four is all about breakthroughs. And step five is execution. So again, that's going to go out in next week's newsletter. Be sure and be on the lookout for that. And if you would like a link to the newsletter and to grab the five steps to get unstuck worksheet, then just let me know in the comments and we'll get it right out to you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.